I was aware of a couple of things. One is that that we made a lot of mistakes and now we're going to pay for them. Have you ever noticed that most people that try to talk with the people in their family don't have real conversations? Even though they spend lots of time trying, they can't seem to get as close as they would like to and they end up feeling disappointed again and again until finally they just give up. Why is that? Why is it that most people that want to be close to their kids, their parents, their siblings, or their grandchildren end up feeling distant or they let themselves get distracted by things that at the end of the day are not that important? It's like some families seem to have this X factor where it just seems easier for them. I mean, they talk about real things, their get togethers are full of support and acceptance and unconditional love. And even though they still have all of the same problems that everyone else does, and even more difficulties and challenges in some cases, it just seems easier for them to talk about everything and have close relationships. What is it that they figured out that most people haven't? I mean, I was aware of a couple of things. One is that that we made a lot of mistakes and now we're going to pay for them. Well, you pay for them because of like, who's going to be there when you die? <laughs> you know, I mean, <laughs> who gives a shit, right? I, I don't think my family does. And why should they? How much have I given a shit all their lives? You know, that like, it's all negative crap. But to me at that time, it was the truth. Like, that's how I felt. Lonely, unsatisfied, uh, unsuccessful. For me, when it shifted was discovering it's not just little Sarah. She has hopes and dreams and a clarity that just amazes me. It's not just my son, Trace. He has a capability that, boom. <laughs> And it's not just my husband. He has insight and profoundness that goes beyond words. But this was discovering all this on this phone call. And I agree with dad that we wouldn't have gotten there in a Sunday dinner because there's a lot of people around. It's hard to have one-on-one -on -one conversations. It's hard to have structure when you've got seven to ten people all having supper so it's all platitudes and you go home with a, lo a longing of something deeper and i think the structure of a zoom call uh, teaches you how to do that so thank you for the phone call this time over the last couple three years we've caught up to a whole world of missed opportunity how important this phone call is it's priceless. There's, there's no way you can put a value to it other than it is our lifeblood. It's what holds us together and, and uh, has taught us to talk to each other, to communicate, to be unafraid. I want to acknowledge everyone for allowing a 71-year-old woman start to discover herself. In a way, like I feel like now I have energy literacy life, when my wife walked up to me and said that you know for the first time in 25 years i feel safe to confide 